Hello and welcome back to 10 Minute Jobs. Um, today, something different. We're not working on any vehicles. Today I'm gonna make some signs. Well, really just the boards for my wife. She makes, she prints out and makes like signs, key holders, all kinds of stuff like that. And I'm just making the wood for her. So what I'm gonna do and what I've already started um, kind of already a little late on the video, but anyways, I've cut out three so far. She wants six out of these. So this was, there's another scrap over there that I'm going to cut up, but this was just a four by eight sheet, three quarter inch hardwood plywood. Um, so it's nice, neat stuff. So she can either paint it or stain it depending on what the person wants or what she wants to make and sell. Um, she sells this stuff on Etsy, I believe. Don't know if there's like a name for it or whatever. I'll find out and put it below so you guys can maybe find them. But anyways, where I started is kind of laying it out on the piece of wood. So the biggest thing, in my mind at least, is maximizing the wood and minimizing how much excess or waste you have, right? So the sizes isn't a huge deal. Like we kind of fooled around. Um, you'll see this first piece right here you can kind of tell we were kind of messing around with the lines and sizes to see what might work best and with this piece it's a six inch by 18 no I'm sorry it's six by 16 inch six by 16 inch right that gives her six pieces of that size with a little scrap in that corner but then with that piece there which is eight inches by whatever. I think she said eight by, shoot, I'll have to ask her. I have it written down, right on the end here. Eight by 12. I don't know if you can see that. Eight by 12, that's what she wants. So I'm gonna give her two, I think she asked for, two eight by 12s out of this piece. Or wait a minute, it'll be four. She wanted all four. Yep, 48 inches. Um, so four eight by twelves and that's what she's gonna make key hooks out of so again I've already started um, the six by sixteens I'm gonna cut all those out finish that up on this piece so there will be a little bit of excess back there um, and then once I cut up that piece as well the eight by twelves I'm gonna get out the router and she just wants a simple routered edge all the way around all the pieces and then we will sand them up or actually she wants me to drill holes in these signs for this rope that's right so I need to drill a couple holes in these signs for the rope so that they can be hung I think she only wanted three of them done like that so anyways enough talking I'm gonna keep going um, by the way what you're gonna see me do so I want a six inch piece right here get this lanyard out of the way it's probably annoying I want a six inch piece which that's this mark here right and then you see this mark that's an inch and three eighths so that's based on the shoe of my saw so every saw is a little bit different all you have to do is measure from the blade over to the edge here and then that's where i clamp down my straight edge and then i could just run straight across that there and i've got a nice true edge so that's what you're going to see me do in here as i knock the rest of these out i've got three more to do
All right, so I don't know if you caught that, but my router bit fell apart on the very last one. So that was a bonus piece anyways, but I do need to find a little screw. So I'll show you what, I don't know if you can see right down in here. The screw goes down inside the shaft here and that's what holds this bearing on. And what this bearing does is it rides right along, along here to guide the router bit, right? It guides it along so that you only go so deep. That's why when it fell off, you got it all messed up here. But again, I'll show you. I'm talking about this little bolt right on the end here. That's what's missing. It must be down there in this giant mess. The bearing and that little washer, we're right down here. No big deal, easy to find. I'm hoping that maybe I get lucky, but I kind of doubt it. The good thing is I can use, well, <laughs> the good thing is I'm done with this project for right now, but I can use the little screw off of that other bit that I showed you for now if I needed it, um, and then go get a replacement. We're at the store, maybe. But I'm going to kind of sift through this, and I don't know if you saw, but I was trying to rig up something to deal with all this mess, and it, I don't know that it did anything. Maybe it cut down on a little bit. Oh, you know what? Look at that. There it is. Got it. That's what I was looking for. So I can put my bit back together. Again, this one's pretty. All right, I don't know if you caught that, um, but I found a piece um, so I can put it all back together. I'm gonna knock that back together real quick and then do a general cleanup as best I can. I made a giant mess. This did not work. Um, yeah, it just is what it is. Once I get that all kind of cleaned up, I'm actually gonna pull up the sander, make another giant mess, but the sander at least has a bag. So it kind of vacuums up a little bit. So that's what I'm gonna do, get right to it. cleaning up and I look over at my wonderful rigid vacuum oh, I really do like it but I've never changed or hardly even looked at the filter in there in about six to seven years and I look over vacuuming up all this sawdust and it's just blasting out all over everything so I kind of stopped doing that and um, I'm asking my son to go grab me a new filter real quick so I can finish cleaning it up. In the meantime, I'm gonna go ahead and start sanding. So I'm just gonna put a quick sand on these just to knock off the rough spots and roll over these edges. Because if you don't roll over these edges, that's how they tend to chip. They'll chip off real bad and you can get big old splinters. Like some of them, it actually happened while I was routing it a little bit, which isn't the end of the world. Um, it kind of goes along with the appeal, in my opinion. So uh, we're all good. So anyways, back to time warp. Gotta do some sanding. Whole bunch.
stand it up because um, I'm going to get them. They're all done. So now I'm going to drill uh, two holes in the top corners of four of them, she said. And it's got to be for this rope so that they can be hung. So when I do that, I'm going to go ahead and kind of mark out a spot that's up here in the corner. But what I what I want to do and what you want to do if you do this yourself is do it over a piece of wood like this clamp down on it so that when you go through if you don't have that piece of wood say you did it over here and you just the drill bit came out the other side it's going to splinter out okay and we don't want that obviously so put the piece of wood there and it will save this is like a sacrificial they call it sacrificial piece of wood to prevent that blowout um, but I'm going to go ahead and try to mark out, measure out some sort of ideal spot so that I can match it both sides and drill four of these. So that is now. process here but that's it so she wants me to leave the string out for now so I just wanted to do a trial run see how that would work but we're all done um, so again these are just craft signs I don't know what to call them um, my wife's store is halls decor and design on Etsy I'll put a link down there or something I don't know comments it'll be somewhere so um, check it out. Um, she has some styles that are already ready to go, like pre-made ones, or you can suggest something. Or if you just want blanks because you want to do it yourself, but you don't want to deal with this gigantic mess, understand completely. <laughs> so same thing, we'll sell you just the blank, or she will sell you just the blank, right? So let us know, like, comment, subscribe on this video. I know this isn't my typical 10 minute job I mean typical is kind of strange I think I only have seven videos at this point but I wanted to do more than just automotive repair I also want to do just anything around the house um, to show you how easy it is so again thanks for watching there's schmutz all over this camera wow hopefully that doesn't ruin the whole video thank you again we appreciate it like subscribe comment all that stuff have a good one thanks